Why settle for a boring old jerky snack when you can give in to what you truly crave? Introducing all natural wild blueberry barbecue seasoned beef! Juicy wild blueberries add a hint of sweetness to the slab of beefy goodness. Also contains quinoa, a highly nutritive grain. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and little kidlets, all the little sprites out there. Yeah, you! Yeah, you! Watching this right now, I'm inviting everybody to watch Limbo Grub from now on because you know what? You know what? After a hundred some odd episodes, I finally decided to broaden my audience. This is now a family show. I'm gonna resist all temptation to use foul language. It's gonna be really, really tough with some of the stuff that I eat on this show, but it all is a part and parcel with creating a mass audience out there. That's me, Hottie Scotty Pancake 603, making sweeping changes to Limbo Grub, making the show better for you and me! <laughs> what I'm looking at right here is something called a Crave Bar, a wild blueberry barbecue seasoned buffalo bar, which you might remember just it wasn't even that long ago, I had that epic bar that was blueberry, no, it was bison and cranberry flavored. What? I, they couldn't corner the market on that? Somebody had to copy that idea? Was it all really that successful? Were they looking at all the sales on this epic bison bar and like, oh, we can't let them have all the fun. We're gonna get into the game too. And now we have two companies making buffalo fruit bars. It's. I'm not, I mean, I won't say it's obnoxious, it's just freaking strange. It's just, how can two companies exist that make this obscure, just completely out of nowhere item? I have no idea, I have no clue, but yeah, here it is, staring at me, I'm looking at it, it's buffalo meat, I'm looking at tiny little specks, which are probably blueberries. Um, I really hope this is not like that Epic Bar, because that Epic Bar would have been great, I mean, it wouldn't have been great, but it would have been doable, if not for the cranberries. The cranberries, like every other bite that you took out of that bar, like the, the cranberry was just getting away. They'd be like in little pockets, like giant clusters, like cranberry shells that didn't have any taste to them. They'd just get stuck in your teeth and you're spitting them out. And that's not pleasant. That's just, you want your consistency, you want consistency in every bite. Um, unfortunately, that other bar didn't have that. Um, I'm hoping this one might, might be a little better. And I did learn from last time, this is the way to eat it, like, almost like a, a push pop. You, you squeeze the end of it so you don't have to get that goo all over your hands. Um, but smells, oh my god, it smells awesome. What does it smell like? It smells like a jerky, like, if there was such a thing as sausage flavored jerky, there probably is, but um, I would imagine it smells like this because it's a little bit too strong to be like a Slim Jim or, or beef jerky or anything like that, but it's, it's got kind of that smell, but oh my god, I could just, s just sit here and smell this all day. It smells delicious. I, I guarantee it's not gonna taste as good as it smells, but um, yeah, I guess no time like the present. I'm gonna take a bite and hopefully it doesn't have the same problems as that other one. All right, the beef tastes great. It's a little dry, but you know what? I like that. I don't want it to be all wet and nasty because that's, that's just gross. The things like sitting in a package for God knows how long, if it's wet and juicy, that's just, you know, that, that doesn't gel with me. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't get a berry in that bite, so I'm gonna take another bite and um, that'll be the major gauge on how this really, this really tastes. Hmm, funny. I know there was a blueberry in that bite. I didn't taste any blueberry. It tastes great, but um, you'll see on the cross section here, see that dark spot? That is definitely a blueberry. So I'm gonna take a bite of this, and if I don't taste blueberries yet, and I'm already halfway through the bar, what can be said? I mean, I'm gonna have to factor that into the grade. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to conclude it as such because I'm halfway through it. I'm not tasting any blueberries. What it tastes like is like, like a very soft Slim Jim. Like picture a Slim Jim without snapping into it. You just bite into it, it's like a really soft bite. You just go, it's actually quite refreshing, quite pleasing. Your taste buds dance all over, la 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 la. It's, it's a party in your mouth. It's really, really delicious. But 
The selling point of this was that it had blueberries in it. I mean, dance around that all you want, that's, that's the truth. That's the reason why anybody would buy this, is curiosity on what a blueberry buffalo bar would taste like. And unfortunately, that's... The taste isn't there. I didn't taste any blueberries, and blueberries have a strong taste. I don't understand why they're not bleeding through. Maybe they needed to put more in there? So if I had to give this a star rating, this is it's a very tough grade because it's good. So I don't want to give it a bad grade. I don't want to say that I don't recommend people try this, but, but it's false advertising. So I'm just going to have to say two and a half stars. Yeah, two and a half stars. It rates average, but it's delicious. That's just it. But I'm going to have to dock it. Like, I would normally give this three stars because of how good it tastes. But I'm going to have to dock it that half a star because it doesn't have any blueberry taste in it. I had to do that with that Pine Hopple beer, too, a long time ago. The same thing happens here. I feel really, really gypped. Um, this thing probably wasn't cheap either. I suggest that if you see this on the shelf, watch, seek out this video somehow, watch it. Um, if you've seen this video already and you come across this, don't buy it. I mean, buy it if you like the taste of jerky. It's delicious, but I'm sure there are other flavors that you can try. Just know that they all taste the same. Um, yeah, that's probably all I can really say about this. Um, does it get my endorsement? Yeah, I think it's delicious, but it's not blueberry. It's not blueberry. So, this is your buddy DJ. Oh, hey DJ. This is your good buddy Hottie Scotty Pancake 603 saying until next time I'll see you in limbo. Whew, that was a close one. Psst. Hey guys, it's me, the man upstairs. And I know you must be as sick of this Hottie Scotty Pancake nonsense as I am. It has run its course. It's not funny. It's annoying, that's what it is. Someone needs to knock some sense into this guy. And that someone's gotta be me. Let's see, what should I do to him? Send him to hell? Nah, I've done that already. I've got it! What was the food item which caused he to crack in the first place? Ah yes, Port Clyde fish steaks. <laughs> I know just what to do to jog this guy's memory and bring back DJ Clive. Just you wait! <laughs> this is gonna be good.